This is Tijuana Jack. You're watching Tijuana Jack Show today. I'm here, of course, with my man Jake in the corner. Y'all probably can't see him. Deep in the corner. And the legendary Bully King, one of the Bully Kings of the DMV, John DeBose. Did I say right to say DeBose, DeBoise? DeBose, DeBose. I do this dude for years. I say John DeBose, but everyone, some other people call it DeBoise, DeBoose, whatever. Now, there's a new breed out. And I'm not going to lie to you, the first time I saw this shit, I couldn't stand it. I mean, I come from a whole game dog situation. And I want to say some insult. I'm, I'm going to come from an insulting shit. Like, and it, I don't mean that as disrespect. Like, so I don't know, didn't know about the breed. So I just thought they were overweight fucking dogs that didn't have no game with them or anything like that. But just recently, like a, I was looking at the dude from DDK Kennels or something like that. Some of these dogs are game dogs. Oh yeah. They got that drive, that fire still. But the second thing is, I don't know about I don't even know how they're made. So, let me get this straight. It's called an American Bully. American Bully. They started uh, in the early 90s breeding Stratford Terriers and uh, Pit Bulls together, American Pit Bull Terriers together. Uh, that Razor's Edge Blood is where it really started. Right, yeah. With, uh, with Dave Wilson and then uh, the Scotty Line. So the, the Gotti Line, Gotti Line's more of a, a taller mountain dog. It used to be. It used, it used to be. Used, yeah, okay, yeah, see. Juan Gotti used to be a big boy. Because, okay, yeah. when I see some of these Gotti dogs now, they're thick fucking... Yeah, but it's, it's 100% Gotti Line. The, and they're not they're taller than 12 inches off the ground, and my males stay around 65 pounds. So, bring me to, uh, Jake, bring me to the bottom picture. One of these bottom blue ones over here. Bottom left, bottom left. Right there. So the standard, what's the, the American Bully standard? The standard, that's, it's going to be like a, for a male, it's going to be, they say it's supposed to be between, I think it's 16 to 17 and a half inches tall from the withers mm -hmm. to the ground. And then a female is supposed to be uh, 15 to to 16. It's good dog. to the ground. That, and that's a good dog. I, I'm, the standard in that pocket, believe it or not, I'm, I'm getting older as I get up there in age, the whole pocket thing does it for me. I don't want to, damn. Ain't no oh, money in pocket. Oh, ain't no money in standard dogs. And, and where's, the, where's the money at? Show me where the money's at. The pocket or the exotics, man. And, and the exotics not really on there too much anymore. This dog right here, mm -hmm. Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. That's, my bloodline's full of that. Hey, tell me, and, and what's this, can you tell me first, what is your stud fee? What is my stuff for you? Yeah. Right now it's a thousand dollars. Now, that's why you're a good dude. You're good. I've heard of stud fees being almost two five, two thousand five hundred dollars. Uh, we, we paid one that was five thousand dollars. No. And you got two takes on it. And, 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 it and if y'all don't know what two takes is, if that dog doesn't get that other dog pregnant, two takes, two two times, two wild monkey dances, you're done. You you're two twenty five hundred or whatever yeah. is out the window. Gone. Gone. Jesus. Talking about gambling. Jesus. <laughs> 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 Uh, the, the dope game is yeah. done. So, to get it straight, you would take a Staffordshire Terrier, right? Yeah, they used to back in the day. Uh -huh. This is all, all that is like old school stuff. Now people are mixing, uh, for exotics, they're mixing like, uh, they say many, many English Bulldogs. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. That's not, I've never done nothing like that before. I always get mine from the source, so. How can we get a dog from you? How? I can't afford it. I'm letting you know right now. I'm, I'm, for everyone out there, if you want one of these dogs. I'm on hey, Instagram. Th th real quick. Jay, can you throw me the, um, one of the first, and you go back to the far left one. So where it all started, the, the dog to the far, far right? Far right, yeah. That was my first bully right there. She's a 100% edge bitch. She's a Blue Ruckus granddaughter. Blue Ruckus created uh, Remy. That's a Blue Ruckus daughter right there. She was off Blue Ruckus' last litter before he died. And you still have her? You sold her? I sold, I sold her as a pet to a good friend. I ain't mad at all. So you lost a little money then. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> and bring me out here. And um, what pups do you have? Do you have any now? Yeah, but you know, there's none up there. Yeah. So but, to, get, to get one from you, how do we get in contact with you? On Instagram, at, uh, I'm at uh, Bulls by JD. And that's, uh, I'm on Facebook. We're in the process of switching everything over and getting my kennel page. So I don't really have that up and running right yeah, now. I ain't mad at that. I mean, that's, Instagram does more work than anything else. Yeah. Now, game dogs. For you, man, I'll say it. Game dogs, that can be anything from bull biting, like animal herding. It could be 
occasional rule of dog fighting. Sorry for people out there. Like, you can still ship a dog to another country that dog fighting is legal oh, yeah. and, and, and do things like that. So they have the drive. Those, those, that black dog and that fawn dog, their dog was, their dad was sold to a dude in Thailand for $40,000. This one right here? Yeah, both of them. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Not my day job. Yeah. This is the shit right here. <laughs> their dad's name is Goon. Now, He's off of uh, Ivy Hayes to uh, Blue Ivy. The reason I didn't, it's a lot of people, a lot of soccer moms and stuff like that, they get these pit bulls because they like them, they like the way they look. But they don't realize a pit bull is a lot of fucking work. Like oh, yeah. it's a working dog. This dog has to be played with. It has to be walked. I mean, because walk. if you don't understand, I'm talking about about a mile and a half to two miles. Just oh yeah. If you, if you don't, you're gonna come home. Your house is destroyed. And, and, and people are like, oh, they're bad dogs. No, it's because you people are buying these pit bulls and leaving them home all day, and then they need something to do. They're, exactly. they're working animals. Exactly. So that's that's the but crazy thing about that. Some of these some of these are a little lazier than your than your your game dogs. Mm -hmm. um, these guys, like I've had game dogs in the past that you know snap at kids and stuff like that. But I've never once had a bully do that. With well, and that's why, with my old age, you know, I got a daughter and stuff like that. That's why bullies are starting to be more for me. Like, yeah, you don't have to walk them a million miles. Like, they walk around the house sixty times like that. They're they're good for the day. They're not necessarily lazy dogs, but their temperament is a lot oh, yeah. less to work with. So I do I do like that. I tell you what, I appreciate you coming out. If you need to get in contact with him, what is the actual Instagram page? It's Bulls by JD. Bulls by JD. I can't afford it, but if you guys ever want to get in the business of your animal, I'm sorry, like my children, your animals should make money for you. They should be lovable pets and stuff like that. But if you want a good dog, it's also a good investment. Get a dog. Bulls by JD. Appreciate that. Who is still on a jack?